Hello, power users. Today we're taking a look at the color picker field, the date picker field, and the time span field. These three features are another way to turn your Elementor forms into more powerful data submission systems. Let's take a look at our form. We have the color picker field here, which lets us choose a color, pick colors from anywhere in the screen, or insert our GB, hue, saturation and lightness and hex codes. The date picker field opens calendar menu with many control options. For example, this one is a pop-up that won't close even if you click outside of it. We'll take a look at more options later. Here we've used the time span field to make a simple calculation between two dates to determine the time span between them. Back in the Elementor editor, we see that the color picker field is as simple as it gets. Just choose it as the field type and we don't need to set up anything. If we want, we can change the width and height of the menu in the style options. The second field, the date field, is the date picker field. The first of the many options is the date format, and we have the language for the days and months. We can disable dates, even with dynamic tags. For example, days when the business is closed or holidays. First day lets us pick which day of the week is the first for our calendar. We can add a footer, and we can toggle on disabled pop-up, which will mean the calendar is always shown. We suggest to set up the other options with this temporarily toggled on so that we can see what we're doing in real time. We can let users close the calendar by clicking outside, provided the pop-up is not disabled. We can choose to have individual drop-downs for months, days, years, set the minimum year for the drop-down, and we can choose to set all sorts of labels for each of the calendar options. Furthermore, in the style tab, we have even more controls. Down to the colors of the days, weeks, today's day, the selected day background color, and the footer color. We can only see the footer if the calendar is set as a pop-up. We can also set the Z-index so as to avoid unintended overlaps. The third and last field here is the time span field. This allows you to pick two dates, which can be dynamic as well. Choose the format for both and return the time span between them. In this case, I picked two birthdays to calculate an age and set appropriate before and after texts. We have an output option that lets us pick an unit of time, but we can also set a custom output. Let's use an example to showcase how it works. Now it says we are 39 years or 468 months old, which is 39 years in months. These two toggles will turn their respective start or end date fields dynamic so that we can specify a dynamic tag they will fetch the date from, as we mentioned before and we can decide if we want the time span field to be hidden. Oftentimes it will stay hidden because we may want to use the return value from this field as a value in a calculation field, another form field by glue. That pretty much covers it all. Thank you for watching. We'd like to remind you that you can try all of glue's features at demo.glue.ooo and that you can get answers to all your doubts in our Facebook community of glue experts. Link in the description. See you next time.